Well, welcome back to the channel. Much appreciated for you joining me today on this beautiful day. <sighs> Absolutely gorgeous day. Couldn't resist to ride out on the bike as usual. A bit of gravel there on the road. What a lovely day. Oof, getting warm. <laughs> well, the purpose of the video today is uh, basically giving you my uh, my first six months ownership kind of review on the um, the 2020 Triumph 765 Street Triple RS. And like I said, I've had the bike uh, just over well six seven months now. It's had its first service from uh, Triumph, and uh, no issues there. Nice and cheap, very cheap service. Very, very basic kind of service that one. Uh, probably oil filter. Well, it will be oil filter levels. A few adjustments here and there. Tire pressures, which I check anyway. Uh, regular chain. And uh, have I had any trouble with the bike in my sort of uh, first six, seven months of ownership? Well, <laughs> answer to that. No, <laughs> no, I haven't. Nothing, nothing at all. Little niggle when I first got the bike, there's a slight scratch, but that was sorted out straight away by Triumph. Uh, don't even know how it happened, really. But anyway, yeah, they're very, very good, very good. Um, no issues at all with the bike. I checked the oil regular as well, so it doesn't. It's not using any oil, or it sounds as it should. It rides as it should. And overall, I'm very, very, very happy with her. Couldn't be happier, to be honest. Although, when you go out and you test ride all of these other bikes and uh, review other bikes, then uh, you do, you know, find yourself thinking, oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> Should I upgrade? Hello, sir. Should I upgrade, uh, you know, for the speed triple? <laughs> but you know, no, 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 no plans at the moment anyway of changing. Like I said, I'm more than happy with this. It's a pleasure to ride, it's a pleasure to clean. This, you know, handles absolutely amazing. Uh, I've put heated grips on. I know it's summertime, but uh, it was on the cards anyway. And I know when it gets around a window that I probably wouldn't be doing it. I'll probably think, oh, I should have put those heated grips on. So I could kind of like just after I got the bike serviced, ordered the grips. Actually fitted them myself, which was not too bad of a job. Found it quite easy, a little bit fiddly for the old pinkies. <laughs> Getting in, you have to thread like a, uh, there's like a, um, you know, obviously the electrical harness to the grips. And there's a little hole underneath with the, uh, in the bars there where basically, you, yeah, you thread the, the wiring through on a loom. And then it splices off and it goes in and it plugs in under the tank. Anyway, I've got another video on the channel. Uh, I think, well, I don't actually, I've not got an install video. I think it would have taken too long. <laughs> I would have run out of space on my memory card, so. Uh, but there is a video where I, I do talk a little bit about it. Um, anyway, yeah, no, I, I can't grumble. I can't grumble at all with this this bike. And I'd highly recommend, uh, you know, if you're in the market for, um, you know, this this class of bike then uh, I would definitely, definitely get yourself, uh, get your get your scrawny bottom to the Triumph dealer and, and uh, arrange a test ride. would highly recommend that. You won't be disappointed. Uh, I'm quite fortunate that I ride a lot of, you know, a lot of bikes uh, for the channel. And uh, this is still up there with uh, my favourite, this one. There is others, but like I say, at the moment I have, I have no plans on changing the motorcycle. <laughs> Oh, it's so hot. I'm gonna have to pull over, I think, and uh, get some refreshments. It's not often we get this weather like this. So yeah, not so. I've got no plans on uh, changing the bike out. It's a bit of a dodgy crossroads. This one, you get people just come straight across. Yeah, uh, what else have I done anyway? No, I've, I've also got uh, the tail tidy on here as well. Which you get rid of all that, all that rear number plate hanger. And I know they have to do it for Euro 5 compliance. That, that's what it is. You know, what they, have, they, all, they all seem to have that disgusting bloody 
oh, shouldn't swear, sorry. They have that disgusting, uh, you know, number plate hanger, and they all they all do it. I think, like, if you look at the Trident now, they've started, you know, and some of the other bikes, the the Rocket Three, they got the all the hanger over the over the kind of the, you know, right over the back wheel. I don't know if that's to do with maybe people deciding they want to get rid of it and put a, a tail tidy to make it look cleaner under there. I don't know, but you know. That's something that I had done when I bought, you know, ready for when the bike was delivered, so I think that'd be fairly straightforward in fitting that anyway, but anyway, yeah, like I say, it's a really quick video on, on, on my views on the bike, and I'll tell you what, get yourself out and test ride one. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, leave a comment, I'm interested in your thoughts, I'll try and get back to you all, uh, you know, regarding uh, any of your comments as best as I can. There is a lot of comments coming through, so I'll do my best, but yeah, and hopefully uh, I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Ooh, I don't want to argue with him. Yep, yeah, take care. See you soon.